Introducing Stephen R. Gerst, MD, MBA, MPH, CHE, Health Informatics Dean and Department Chair, Bryan University. Bryan University Health Informatics Advisory Board, Vice President of Medical Affairs, MedCurrent Corporation. MedCurrent is a leading international clinical healthcare decision software company. I chose to go into health informatics primarily because of the job opportunities. This is a tremendous uh, uh, growth area. The U.S. healthcare system is by far the largest industry in the world with currently over $2.9 trillion or 17.6% of our economy going to $4.8 trillion, meaning over 20% of our $14 trillion economy in the next eight years. Most of that is going to be spent on patient care and health informatics in order to manage these patients. So there's an awful lot of job opportunities. Much of the new legislation around healthcare reform focuses on health informatics and the ability to manage patients better, providing higher quality, lower cost. The only way to do that is to use technology to leverage what we currently have and become much more interoperable, uh, greater communication systems, better performance metrics, and be much more like the U.S. banking system so that hospitals and physicians can talk to each other and patients will get better quality, faster care. There are so many opportunities in health informatics uh, that are available today in, such the, in this vast and rapidly growing industry. Uh, careers just abound. Um, anywhere from, from physicians who, want to, who are chief medical officers and would like to be chief medical infor informatics officers, which is a rapidly growing field, to chief informatics officers who would like a master's in health informatics to go along with the rest of their credentials. Their staffs as well would like to achieve that level of positioning in this rapidly growing industry. You also have people who would like to change careers, people who are executives in other industries but recognize that the growth opportunities are in health informatics today. And then you have all the students and other individuals who would like to enter this industry. Uh, there's just, it's such a broad array of opportunities in a $4 trillion industry, which is clearly the largest in the world, that when the thing that's most important is to be able to get training uh, so that you can be hired into these positions or excel in your current role. Most of what we're doing today is moving towards performance metrics. That means everything needs to be measured, everything needs to be coordinated, and physician-to-physician -physician collaboration, as well as physician-to-device collaboration and device-to-device -device collaboration are going to be the metrics of the future. Anywhere from, <clears throat> from having physicians be able to collaborate with each other instantaneously when someone's having a heart attack and the resident is running through the hospital, they want to have all the data in their hand immediately so they have all the lab results, all the x-rays, everything they need to know about that patient as they're trying to save that patient's life. Um, anywhere from that to the new smart homes that are being developed right now under the patient-centered medical home uh, movement. Uh, in that respect, you're going to have, have implantable chips that are being developed right now and implemented in certain areas of the country on pilots where biometric chips will be in the walls of the house and they will immediately communicate any cardiac problems, any respiratory problems that a patient might have directly to the attending physician so they can act instantaneously and immediately to save a person's life. You will also have all other biometric measuring devices in those homes. And this is not far away. This is happening right now. Uh, on the performance metrics, we'll be able to measure the quality and the cost of healthcare in a way that's never been done before. Um, the whole goal is to decrease the overall cost of healthcare delivery per patient while improving the quality of care. That's what the legislation for healthcare reform is all about. And there are billions and billions of dollars that have already been spent on that and at least another hundred billion dollars that will go into it. There's, there's an awful lot of job opportunities and the needs that employers have, one is experience, previous experience. If you have previous experience, that's very important. If you don't have previous experience, then having a program such as Brian offers, which offers not only the academic framework to understand the healthcare industry, but also practical experience within a company through the mentor program. That's a major feature 
Uh, employers don't want to take risks if they don't have to. By being exposed and being invited into the employer as a mentor or through the, through the Bryant internship program, both the employer gets to look at you as a student and what you can contribute by way of value uh, to the organization as well as what the organization can do to you to help you, help you in your career. Well, first off, we've put together an advisory board, which are some of the top people in the industry from the largest health informatics companies in the world. Uh, we are also adding faculty from the industry who are the probably the preeminent people in each segment of their industry. So that uh, from an academic standpoint, Brian will give a, almost a very complete picture of what this very large and complicated industry has to offer. Um, from that, the mentorship program um, is vital to the ultimate goal, which is, which is a career. Uh, getting placed within a company, gaining that experience that the employer is looking for, and then moving on and up in your career is the goal of Brian. And we hope we, we want to focus all our resources and all our abilities to create jobs and work for the student because the student is our client.